Proclamation from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, you heard of my former way of life in Judaism, how I persecuted the church of God beyond measure and tried to destroy it and progressed in Judaism. Beyond many of my contemporaries among my race, since I was even more zealous for my traditional ancestral traditions. But when he, who from my mother's womb had set me apart and called me through his grace, was pleased to reveal his son to me so that I might proclaim him to the Gentiles, I did not immediately consult flesh and blood, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me. Rather, I went into Arabia and then returned to Damascus. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to confer with Peter and remained with him for 15 days. But I did not see any other of the apostles, only James, the brother of the Lord. 
As to what I am writing to you, behold, before God, I am not lying. Then I went into the regions of Syria and Cilicia, and I was unknown personally to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. They only kept hearing that the one who once was persecuting us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy. So they glorified God because of me. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks God. God. Responsorial song, guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O oh Lord, you have probed me, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. way. Truly you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. My soul also knew full well, nor was my frame unknown to you. When I was made in secret, when I was fashioned in the depths of the earth, God me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Thousand. 
She knows that I can pay the 5,000. She knows that food is not a problem for me. She has chosen to listen to the word of God. She has chosen to listen to wisdom. She has chosen to become a student of wisdom itself, that she may grow in faith. You are worried about material things. She is worried about growth in faith, in spirituality. That is what matters. When we grow in spirituality, God provides every other thing. That is what the Word of God reminds us. Seek you first the kingdom of God. Am I right? And the Word of God says, and every other thing shall be added. She has chosen that. Sometimes we find ourselves in the same situation, my brothers and sisters, that we are so much worried about material earthly things that we forget about the God of the world. We forget about the God who sustains us that we may achieve that. Like one who has planned everything he will do or she will do today and has no God in it. When I wake up, I will brush my teeth. I have to do this, clean up my car. I need to drive off to work. I need to do this, do that, do that. And all you are scared of, where is God? What if the Lord decides to say to you, like he said to the rich man, this night I am taking you alive. I gave it to you. Since you have no regards for me, I will pick it up. Let me see what you can achieve tomorrow. Of course, the dead cannot work. Am I right? So also it is with us. Let us not be dead spiritually. Inasmuch as we worry for our daily bread, let us remember that there is the prayer that the Lord Jesus taught us. And in that prayer, it is contained our daily bread. Am I right? God is not stupid. God is not ignorant. In all the things he combined it, give us our daily bread. As much as your will is done on earth, as much as we love one another, as much as we keep your words, give, provide for us. When you go, expand that lost prayer and see the beauty in it. God wants us, in the midst of everything we are doing, He wants us to devote some time to Himself, so that He may refresh, He may nourish, He may sustain and grant success to the work of our hands. Of course, Martha loved Jesus, but she was so much concerned about what he would physically eat, forgetting that, look, he doesn't need physical food to sustain him. He has come to do his Father's will, to bring us together, to become the head of the flock, to show us the way to salvation. On the part of your daily task, do you have God? I don't, I'm not asking that question to each and every one of you here because I know each day you begin your life with God. But let us go out with the God we receive each day that we might teach others the path to God Himself. Mary was listening that she may grow in faith and that she may carry out the mandate and bring it to others. You come before God every day, He fills you and He replenishes your strength. When you go out, do people see the glamour of God? Do people see God that glow in you? And when you learn, you teach others. That was what the first reading taught us. St. Paul said, I have been a persecutor of this faith, but God has chosen me, shown me to his son. He has filled me with his wisdom and grace. He has ransomed me from death, and I have brought the good news to the people in Arabia, to Galatia, and to every other place. But the purpose of God coming to me is that he might take glory in me. That's what St. Paul said today. As we embrace God every day and listen to his words, we pray that in our daily actions, that he may take glory in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us in faith rise and bring our joys and our needs before God, asking for God's transformation, that He may take glory in us and in all people.
Let the leaders of the church preach the coming reign of God with power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayers. That the leaders of the nation abandon violence as a means of establishing peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. Prayer. That the lives of children, including the unborn, be cherished, protected, and nourished. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the ill, the aged, the hungry, the homeless, and the hopeless receive the care they need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That more young people will respond generously to the call to the ministry and religious life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, in your mercy come to our aid. Help us to seek you first in all things, that in your mercy and love you might add whatever we need. Grant us our daily bread. Come to the aid of our brothers and sisters who are sick. Bring them your healing. Take glory in us and in whatever we do. Hear the prayers we bring before you in faith, spoken and unspoken, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have peace bread to offer, which I have given and human hands have made. May it become for us our bread of life. Bless you, God, Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. May it become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with a humble and a contrite heart. May the Lord wash away my iniquities and bless me. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your names, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, Graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. It is truly right and just, <coughs> our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs. In humble praise, as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosts us on the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosts on the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
He took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it. Gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come to the gate. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Daniel our Archbishop, Charles the Auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Saints, St. Paul, St. Augustine, St. Anthony, St. Peter, St. Matthew, St. Mark, St. Luke, St. John, St. Timothy, St. Linus, St. Lawrence, St. Elizabeth, St. Veronica, St. Cecilia, St. Andy Bobry, St. Joseph Bakita, St. Patricia, St. Monica, St. Martha, St. Agnes, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be good earth to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, to say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the joy and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. May we offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God,
my brothers and sisters, behold Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those of us called to this supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to eternal life. us almighty God that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received so as to be transformed into what we, we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May the almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will the peace and love of Christ for this Mass is ended. Do have a great day. Thank you.